Hi, welcome to Transforming Hospitality. I'm John Fingleton, and today I'm going to be discussing the benefits to your guest of choosing the right person for the right role within your teams. What is it we're actually telling our guests we're going to deliver? For me, I got a great education when I went to work in the Belfry Hotel with David Webster, who's now Podium Hospitality. And I remember going over as food and beverage director. At this stage, I'd already set up a couple of Irish pubs abroad. I'd worked in City West Hotel. I thought I knew my business inside out. I thought I understood what was happening in the industry. And I remember one day David giving me a call. Let's have a coffee in the lobby. We're up in the lobby area, the main bar area, having a coffee. And the conversation flows along the lines of, what are we trying to deliver here to this guest? Do we understand what the vision is for the main bar and lobby area of our hotel? And how is it different to Spike Bar, which is more sport orientated, which is down where the golfers go? And how is it different to our residence bar where people come to at night time at the end of the night to have a drink? And if we're trying to create a culture in the main bar in the lobby area as to this is where you come for your tea, your coffee, your business meetings, would those same people maybe like to have a simple sandwich or a light salad or a soup at lunchtime instead of a big burger or a steak sandwich or a fish and chips? And would the golfer who's coming in, who's going out to play around the golf, maybe want to start off with a breakfast bap or a full Irish breakfast before he plays his golf? And maybe want some beers and some burgers and some chili and some steak sandwiches after golf, not maybe some nice Rioja or some cocktails or some tapas? And maybe the guy who's in for his business meeting wants to have the nice wines or cocktails or tapas? But yet we've got the same customer coming in the door, sitting in the main bar area, in his golf gear, wondering why am I looking at a menu with tapas and cocktails on it when I got I want a burger and some beer. But we don't stop to think, maybe direct this person down to the sports bar and let them enjoy themselves down there and have an experience that they'll walk out the door raving about. And then if we figure out, okay, we want to have our office people and our meetings in the main bar, and we want our tapas and we want our cocktails and wines up there for the afternoon to keep them and to let them enjoy their day after their meetings. Why is John, who's a golf nut, working up in the main bar and Dave, who's much more into his cocktails and his wines and his tapas and has spent time in Spain and has traveled abroad and is the polished article working in the sports bar? Maybe John would enjoy working in the sports bar and let Dave work up in the main bar and all of a sudden now we've actually got a bit of a blueprint for, oh, I actually understand who my customer is coming into the main bar, what it is they're looking for and I've got the right team member in that bar who's able to deliver this guest their experience. Now potentially I'm exceeding the guest's expectations. Now potentially I've got a staff member or a team member who wants to be in the main bar, who enjoys showcasing and serving good wines and coffees, who has a passion for creating latte art on his lattes, who understands what tap is in and is able to explain it to the customer at where the customer is sitting there going, not only are they knowledgeable, but they're passionate. And if we are knowledgeable and passionate, we typically execute better than when we're doing something that we've no passion or knowledge about. And ultimately, at the end of the day, that's a simple way of training and developing your people to exceed your guest's expectations. And all it takes is you, as an owner, as an operator, as a manager, pressing pause and assessing what am I offering within the box I'm operating in within my hotel to make sure that the team, the menu, the offering and the guest knows exactly why you'd have walked into this room as opposed to being down in the sports bar.